So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. I'm gonna show you two ways how to get here. So for the first way, if you can sign into Windows, like me, I'm on Windows right now, I can sign into it. Then you're gonna head over to search and type in, reset this PC, click on it. Don't worry, we're not actually gonna reset the PC. Instead, under advanced startup, we're gonna click on restart now. Wait for this to load, it will then take you into that screen. And now for the second way, if you cannot sign into Windows, then you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to quickly turn it off and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And now once you're on this, I'm going to be showing you three different methods. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you do not see system restore, then you want to click on see more recovery options and then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on system restore. If you have a restore point that you can go back to, then you wanna click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you do not have a restore point, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. And now for the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to repair. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC. Let's see if this works for you. Wait for this to load. If that did not work for you, now we're gonna click on advanced options and then troubleshoot. Advanced options again, and then command prompt. And now once you're on this, you're gonna type in your Windows drive with a colon. For me, it's gonna be C colon. For you, it's also most likely gonna be C colon. If it's not, then just type in your Windows drive with a colon. So click on enter. And now you're gonna type in CD space backslash Windows backslash system32 backslash config and click on enter. And now you're gonna type in MD space backup six. Click on enter again. Now you're going to type in copy space star dot star space backup, click on enter again. And now you're going to type in cd space regback, click on enter again. And now you're going to type in copy space star dot star space dot dot, click on enter again. And now you're going to type in a, click on enter again. If you see any errors on my screen, just ignore it, but in your case it should be working. Now you're going to close out of command prompt, then you just want to continue to windows and then the problem should be fixed. 